are for serial EM tomography. I'm going to use copper slot grids. Uh, the ones I prefer are the ones that have a slot of one by two millimeters in the center. First of all, you need to wash the grids. So place the grids you need to use inside a small beaker. Now working on the fume covers, wash the grids briefly with 100% acetone. Take a glass petri dish and place a circular piece of filter paper inside. Discard most of the acetone on the chemical waste. Make sure the grids have stayed at the bottom of the beaker. Now invert the beaker onto the filter paper that's inside the petri dish and allow the grids to dry inside the fume hood and when all the grids are dry they will fall to the bottom onto the filter paper. While you're waiting for the grids to dry take a piece of paper, can be tissue paper, and fold it to make a bit of a cushion. like this. Then place some tape on one side to secure it. Now the grids are all dry and all but a couple have fallen down to the bottom. Now we need to make some foam bar films. The foam bar I like to use to make films is this one here. It's 0.6% foam bar in chloroform. Uh, the chloroform I use to make this foam bar is the one that has been through molecular sieves and it is kept in a bottle with a double lid to make sure as little water as possible comes into the foam bar so the foam bar does not hydrate with time. You just have to be careful because this bottle has two lids. When you use this form, this form bar, you have to make sure you have closed both lids after use. The form bar solution stays here in the staining area. If the form bar solution has run out and you need to make new form bar from powder, we've got the powder there in the chemical cupboard but you have to make it the day before because the foam vat granules take a while to dissolve so they need to be dissolving overnight at room temperature for you to be able to use the foam vat to make films. Also make sure that you use chloroform that has been through molecular sieves so that any residual water has been removed from the chloroform. To make foam vat films you will need this glass bowl that you find here in the drying rack. This bowl here. If you haven't got this bowl, you can use any glass bowl that's quite deep. It needs to be fairly deep for you to be able to, to make uh, foam bar films. Fill the bowl more or less halfway up with distilled water. Place this glass bowl over a black surface. Placing the bowl over a black surface helps you see the foam of a film when it's floating on top of the water. It also helps if you have some light shining directly over 
the bowl. Although foam vats dissolved in chloroform, making foam vat films inside the hood doesn't work very well because of the flow uh, of air inside the hood. So you, you will only open the chloroform solution very briefly on the bench, but if you can, open the window slightly so that you have a little bit of ventilation coming from outside while you're making the films. Pour about 30 milliliters of the foam vas solution onto a falcon tube. And don't forget to close both lids of the foam vas stop. Clean a glass slide with 100% ethanol. Make sure the slide looks nice and clean and doesn't have any bits on it. If it's got any bits, you can try to remove them with some dry paper. If the surface of the water looks too bitty, you can use some lens tissue to remove bits from the surface. Make it nice and clean before you make the film. Dip the slide into the foam bar. Pull the slide out about halfway. Wait for about 10 seconds. And then pull the slide out completely. And allow it to dry. Now use a razor blade to make some cuts on the foam vat to make it easier for the foam vat to come off the slide. So I'm holding this slide from the end that hasn't got foam vat. The foam vat is on this side here, on both sides. Gently lower the slide onto the water to allow the films to peel out of the slide. If you're lucky, you'll get a film from, from both sides of the slide. Sometimes you can only get one film and the other one gets stuck. This here is a good form of a film. You can see that it's got a nice silver color and the color is quite even on the film, which means that it's a nice film for coating grids. If you're lucky, you'll be able to make two films of form of from the same slide, like these ones here.
now take those slot grids that we washed um, they should now be nice and dry if you look at EM grids they always have a shiny side and a dull side I always put the sample on the dull side of the grid now take that little paper cushion that we made earlier and place the grid with the dull side down on the cushion now use a small gelatin capsule to press the grid gently against the cushion. You see that the grid won't look flat anymore. It will sort of bulge slightly towards the dull side. So the dull side will be slightly convex. Now place the grid onto the form of our film with the dough side down. Press it gently on the sides but not in the middle where the slot is. Just so that the grid attaches well to the form bar. Now keep adding these slightly modified slot grids to the foam bar film until you have filled the film with grids. Once you have a foam bar film full of grids, use a piece of parafilm to collect the foam bar. Lower the parafilm against one side of the foam bar film slowly. And then slowly allow the form of our film to stick to the parafilm as you lower the parafilm down onto the water. See which edge looks clearly attached to the parafilm. Pick the parafilm up from that edge and then in one quick motion lift it away from the water. Now you have your form file with grids onto the parafilm. You have to allow it to dry. Until the film is dry, you can keep the parafilm in a petri dish like this, slightly open, just so you, you allow the film to dry. Once the film's dry, keep your film of form var with grids on inside a petri dish so that it doesn't get dusty. Now I'm going to try to show you how to collect cereal sections using the special grids that we made. Uh, first of all, you need to place your cereal sections on the edge of the knife boat, just so that they are kept in place. Then you lower one of the form coated grids, so that it aligns with one edge of the uh, cereal sections. I'm lowering it quite slowly. So you see what's going to happen and then there you go. 